Grace to you in the most precious and mighty name of Jesus Christ, Prince of Peace, healer of our brokenness, and hope of the world. I would like to express my deep appreciation to each and every one of you for your participation in the United Methodist Man and in the life of your congregation. I can tell you from my own experiences and what others have validated through their experiences and writings, how significant and important it is for men to be part of the life of a congregation. Too often, many of our congregations do not represent the number of men that should be in attendance in our worship services and other ministries of the church. The greater the number of men participating in the life of a local congregation, the stronger that church will be in some critical ways. In fact, there is a direct correlation between the participation of men in the church especially in ways other than serving on select boards and committees, and its vitality and even how that church is seen within the larger community. Men can be greatly helped by having other men serve as mentors in their spiritual journeys. I do hope and pray that you will continue to reach out in your respective congregations and within your districts to encourage men to get involved in living out their faith. We have learned that when men's organizations offer hands-on ministries and missions, often men will become involved and in the case of some men, they will even then begin to become more involved in worship and other opportunities for spiritual growth and discipleship. This past spring, I wrote a letter of appreciation to one of your leaders for the outstanding achievement of the United Methodist Men of the Susquehanna Annual Conference in regards to the Meals for Millions Fund of the Society of St. Andrews, which is one of the hunger eliminating missions supported by the denominational United Methodist Men. Our conference was awarded the Bud the Spud Award for the highest increase from the prior year. Also, our conference finished seventh overall among all of the conferences. I am grateful for your accomplishment, but I am more grateful for the lives that have been touched and blessed by the potatoes that have been garnered. We have congregations throughout our conference that they are doing similar such projects with apples and other fruits, harvesting what is left over for others. These types of projects where our spiritual connections are linked with our physical activities are often excellent vehicles to get more men, particularly younger men, including our youth, involved. Mission trips, work camps, outreach ministries for homeless, disaster response, volunteers in mission works, etc. are other excellent vehicles. We in the Susquehanna Annual Conference need the United Methodist men to be strong and vital in our churches, our districts, and our conference. I trust and pray that our conference leadership of United Methodist men will continue to provide some exciting avenues that will lead to even stronger and deeper involvement by our men. Like many things within the life of the church today, we can no longer just rely on the methods that were employed years ago. I know that in the past, there was a season of very strong and large United Methodist men's gatherings on Friday evenings. We celebrate those years when such events were largely supported. While those events might still have a place in the life of the organization, God might be calling us to a new time and for new discoveries. Our God is yearning for a revitalization of the men's movement within our church. May it be so in and through our United Methodist men. The quadrennial theme of our conference is Alive in Christ Together. May the United Methodist men help us demonstrate what a church alive is like. The mission of the church is to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. May the United Methodist men show our church a most excellent way of doing it. May the Spirit of God fall afresh upon us to renew, equip, and use us as God's instrument of making a difference in the world for such a time as this.
Amen.